kayak flip Another kayak flip Shit Another kayak flip Oh man, you see Same like mine But same same but different My name is Dale. Those who know me and don't know me, I'm just going to tell you the incident on the 8th of March and uh, how I actually got drifted into the sea in the Suntosa waters. Okay, on the 8th itself was my first launch in uh, one marina, my first launch. I didn't explore the place, it was my first launch and I didn't check the tidal coefficient. Okay, that was my biggest mistake. And I was actually advised by one of the kayakers in one marina to tell me like, don't go out, you know, it's the current spirit song. I didn't heed this advice. Instead, I actually went on the launch itself on the 8th. Okay, the tidal coefficient was 106, was pretty high. It was on the red flag. So we started launching, me, my wife and Min. Okay, we took our kayaks and start to launch roughly around 8 plus, 8.45, we start launching. Okay, when we start launching, we actually turn to the left. So how it happened, as you can see, the blue barrel, right? Blue barrel, blue barrel, blue barrel, right? Then there is this point here, it's like a T. Like this blue barrel, blue barrel, blue barrel, then go straight up again, the blue barrel, right? So I was around here in the kayak, okay? So I just wanted to park somewhere in between the two blue barrels, but I was pushed by the current push, 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 until my kayak got stuck here, this, this region here itself, okay? So the current was so strong that I could not get out from this region. My kayak just practically got stuck here. It was roughly around 10.45 or 11, 10, 10 plus, I remember, 10.45, close to 11. So I got kanchong, you know, my kayak got stuck here. I used my hand, my force, I used my paddle. All, all methods I tried to get it, you know, try to get out of this, this region here. I cannot get away from this region itself, okay. So I got stuck for a few minutes, a uh, few minutes. Then I saw my wife. Kayaking, I just shouted at her, like, hey girl, girl, come over, I need your help. So I took out my rope, I threw it to her, okay. She, she asked me what I want to do, I just say, you just tie to your kayak and just pedal off, just drag me out. I cannot, I say I cannot pedal, I got stuck down here, you know, by the current. So she, when the moment she about to tie to the kayak and want to pedal off, the current push her. So push her near to me, oh. I was in deep shit now, okay? So now my kayak is, this my kayak, this is her kayak. So the current actually pushed her beside me. Then she become hysterical. Underneath, I could see a swirling water, like, uh, you know, water start uh, coming off, a lot of water. And I mean, start, you can see the thing, the current, you can see the current underneath this region itself, swirling around this region. So my wife become hysterical, start shouting, you know, because she could see the water around, okay, like swirling around our kayaks, the splashing water start coming in. So what I did, I actually kicked her kayak out from this thing. I tried to kick her kayak out. She managed to then ask her to pedal as fast as possible. Then me, myself, at that point of time, the, the what they call it, the current was way, getting stronger and stronger. I got not actually tipped, but I got sucked underneath the blue barrel. I got sucked underneath the blue barrel. Literally got sucked underneath the blue barrel. When I was sunk in the water, I could see the kayak above me, you know. I could see the kayak above me. I got sucked by the current and across the blue barrel. So my wife got kanchong. But when the moment I came up, my wife asked me what she can do. I said, call Coast Guard or whatever you can reach. So I got actually drifted out in the sea. First, 
person that saved me was an uh, Indonesian boat which came in at 30 minutes after I got drifted in the sea. 30 minutes. So along that time, okay, along that time, the first boat that came wasn't a Coast Guard, wasn't MPA. The first one was actually an Indonesian boat. They saw me and asked me whether I needed help. I was trying to flip back my boat. Okay, I was trying to flip back my boat. I managed to do it once. But when I, I managed to flip back my boat, but when I want to climb on top of the boat, the boat actually tipped again on my head. So that time I was very exhausted really. So I took my time and I tried to flip back the boat again. Flip, I managed to flip. But the moment I want to push myself on the boat, the boat was too heavy, filled with water. So it's easy. This was very tipsy. Okay, it was very, very, very tipsy. So at that point of time, I just hold on to my kayak for half an hour till Indonesian boat came and rescued me. So the Indonesian boat came, asked whether I needed help. He landed me a help by putting a rope. I climbed on top of the kayak, then I stayed there. I, when I opened up, I find that the kayak was three quarter filled with water. Three quarter filled with water. I opened up the hatch, I saw the water. The stupid part is, I'm drifting on the sea. I don't have a bleach pump. My bleach pump was inside my wife's kayak. The sponge wasn't there. And a bit of wave, the boat would flip easily. So can you imagine the situation I was in? So 15 minutes, 45 minutes after the thing. I mean, uh, first was half an hour. After that was another 15 minutes. Then only the MPA and Coast Guard came. They asked me whether I needed help. Of course, you know what I mean? They could not do anything. So I told them, just be around me. So I took out my shirt. I put into the hatch, try to drain out the water as much as possible using my clothes. Okay, drain out, drain out, drain out, drain out. Then I managed to paddle, but still feel the water. It was relatively, when you paddle, you could feel it's heavy and it was like not stable anymore because it was filled with water. So at that time, one marina came in. One marina boat came in to my rescue and actually helped me and towed my boat to one marina. So along the way, I saw my friend, Min, also was in this region. He was in the region, wave actually pushed him, came to this region itself again, my same place. My own eyes, I saw he got sucked underneath the blue barrel. Same thing which happened to me, but he was lucky. Because there were people around and there were the help was pretty fast. So he was lucky. So that's about it. Huh? That's how it happened. <clears throat> okay, thank you.